Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Pecum Fun Fan 97 and I have a really special video and this is how to use and organize your palettes in Photoshop. Palettes are the sidebars that you see here uh, where you can customize pretty much anything. So if I were to change the layers, channels and paths, this is really easy. So if you click on any of these, any of like the little uh, spaces right here, if you click and drag that will remove the whole group. This is considered a group, okay? And within a group, you will have a subcategory such as layers, channels, and paths. So for you to take off layers from that group or remove it, but there's still two left. And this is still one group because I can move it around freely with those two. That's how I know that it's a group. If I were to let go or take paths out of the one group, you will see that it's not a group anymore and it's just a single little palette named by whatever it is, which is paths, layers, and channels. What I can do here is a lot of stuff. I can, maybe I want paths to be next to it. But if I do this, it's only gonna like snap to the sides. If I were to click and drag, it's not a group. It's not grouped. To group them, you would have to click and drag until you see the blue vertical, uh, vertical line. Uh, and this means that it will snap together so that you can move them together. So that is a group. Just make sure that uh, that's what it is. Now, the blue vertical line means that it's vertical, so it's gonna go like this, pretty much. Vertical is horizontal and horizontal is vertical, if that makes any sense. I'm not trying to confuse you or anything. Now, if I wanna remove it, just click and drag the category, which is channels, and let go. If I want it on the bottom of layers, just make sure it's on the blue horizontal and that will make it go like this. Maybe I want paths to be in between channels. Click and drag and now it's in between. Now you can, um, uh, you can do a lot of stuff, okay? And the next thing is how to group them on the side. Maybe you want it to be right here, right here, or even right here, which is quite cool. Now there's different ways. Uh, the first one is if you leave, if you put it in between here, it will just put it to the left side like this. Maybe I want to put it, whoops. Um, I didn't want to do that. Um, maybe I want to put it on, let me put it to the side again. Um, let me take these off so I can show you and demonstrate. So maybe I want to um, put it right uh, on the, in between right here on this little uh, column. And it's really easy or bro to calm. Um, so yeah, click and drag and where it says the, or where it's the blue horizontal line and this let go. When you let go, um, you will see that there is little lines in between each. And pretty much that means that it's on its own little category. So we have paths, we have channels, we have layers, we even have uh, properties. Now, maybe I don't want to like click and just go like this, like going to each coming back to one. Maybe I want it to be, maybe I want the channels to be inside the paths. To do that, simply click and drag and drag it into this right here. And that will create one whole group like this. Now, if I were to do it on the bottom, this will just move it to the bottom. It wouldn't affect anything. But if you want the pat or the layers to be in, in here, just um, click and drag. Now, you can see that there's lines right here. That means that that's where it's going to be placed. I'm gonna place it in the middle. Maybe I want it to be in the bottom very easily. Well, you can just move it down and they'll move it down. So this is really cool, really customizable that Photoshop did that. And it's really cool. Um, you can do lots and lots of stuff. I can't go over everything, but you can customize everything that you see that there is this little uh, horizontal line. And that's that's nice to know. So maybe if you drag it out, you'll see that there's a button. And holy cow, how do I get that out or how to remove it? It's really easy. Just click the actual button right there and it will give you the channels. And that will remove the button itself. So maybe you want to uh, delete it. You can just click X, X, and they're gone but now they're gone and you don't know how to get it back. Well, if you go over to the window and go to the workspace and go over to reset essentials, this will reset what you have done to your palettes. So if you click reset or anything, it will reset it back to default. Maybe I was in a different, um, in a different mode like painting very easily. Maybe I mess this up like this, or like that, or actually maybe it was like this. Uh, all you have to do is go over to window workspace reset painting this will depend whether what mode you're in but i'm in essentials that's what i use so if this helps you in any way please leave a 
like in the ratings below. Comment in the comment section if you have any questions regarding this video. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.